Good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick check of how things are going to be shaking out as we go into later on today. Again, not much is going on as we're on the uh, net right now, giving you an idea as to what's going on. We continue again to see better potential of activity coming up later on this afternoon and into this evening. We will time things out. We'll walk you through and give you an idea as to what may be happening here coming up within about the next several hours. Again, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest social media in the red bar scrolling by at the bottom of your screen. Forecast just above that, again, scrolling by here. If you can't catch up again with all the rest of the forecast, uh, you don't can't watch the entire netcast we're doing here, that's cool. Just go to, again, uh, wreg.com slash weather, uh, again, for a great weather update for you to keep you updated on what's going on across much of the Mid-South area. Rest of the day today, again, could be uh, wet, looking at more chances of showers out there more than anything else. And through the rest of the day, going to be seeing that potential of thunderstorms developing, enhancing, getting stronger and more widespread across much of the area. So we'll continue to see that. Also more rainfall. Could be some heavy rain of about two to three inches out there. And of course, again, the possibility of seeing more in the way of thunderstorms with large hail, damaging winds, and isolated tornadoes into and around the area for right now. So if you have plans for outdoors, definitely want to, again, make sure that you're ready to get back indoors again as soon as possible. Review, review your safety plans now and be ready to get there later on today. If you've never been in a severe weather situation before, now before everything happens is the time to get ready to go. It's just a good idea to make certain you know ahead of time. That way you don't have to plot out where you're going to while precious seconds tick away. So now's the time to get that done. Also, mildishly cool across the area as high temperatures today don't get much above the lower 60s, and that's going to be about all that we wind up with here. Now, this forecast, if you're watching again, just past 9 o'clock this morning, was issued about an hour ago, so it's relatively new. But if you're tuning into this netcast uh, later on today, say like about midday or afterwards, double check the forecast with News Channel 3 and, of course, from the Storm Prediction Center, where is where we get this information from to show us what's going on out there when it comes to severe weather purposes. Now, the main threat is going to be down here, Jackson, Mississippi, back to East Texas. This is a fairly high moderate threat for severe weather. This is going to be the main target zone for severe weather today. The best parameters for severe weather are going to be well to our south. But notice, if you will, back into around the Mid-South area, we do still have a threat of severe weather for all of the Mid-South. So Dyersburg, the Boot Heel, uh, Blytheville, back toward Harrisburg, into northeast Arkansas. Marginal threat here, larger and slight risk category across much of the area including the metro, and that's a lot larger than what it used to be in last night's forecast. So that means an increased threat out there for severe weather across the metro and the I-40 corridor. Now we also have the enhanced category, again, the largest threat in the Mid-South, the News Channel 3 viewing area. So if you're in, say, Helena, West Helena, Clarksdale, Batesville, Oxford, Tupelo, Water Valley, anywhere in those locations, you're excuse me, you're going to be the main target again for the potential of severe weather for today. The greatest threat down here, but everybody in the Mid-South stands a potential for severe weather. Main threat is damaging winds, large hail, and again, isolated tornadoes. And we'll talk more about what that looks like coming up here in just a little bit. This is not a huge storm system, but it is a vigorous one moving off the Rockies and into the Plain States. So instead of being forced up into the higher sections of the atmosphere by the Rockies, as it goes down into the Plain States, it gets a lot more room to spread out, maneuver, bring in more moisture, give a lot more energy to the situation. The main energy of the storm is way back here, and it's heading our direction. In front of that, we've got plenty of rain, showers, and thunderstorms taking place uh, into much of the area for right now. If you're looking at this, if you're just tuning in and joining us again, West Tennessee here, northern Mississippi here, eastern Arkansas here, Memphis and Shelby County area right in the middle of your screen. We would love to name off your particular city, county, location, wherever, but if we did that, this netcast would go for several hours, so we can only give you a generic look at where it is. We're not trying to slight you or to get you upset that we're leaving your town out of the forecast. We don't do that. 
though we just don't have time to get everybody's forecast in here. So again, knowing your location during severe weather or for your forecast is very handy. So West Tennessee, North Mississippi, Eastern Arkansas, that's where we're looking at for right now. So again, please keep your location in mind, especially if you're traveling today. That's something that's going to help out on that to make certain you know what's going on. Heaviest rainfall right now and so far just rain with an isolated thunderstorm in there every once in a while. Forest City, West Memphis, back down the Mississippi River to around southeast Arkansas and northwest Mississippi. That's the heaviest activity that we've got at this time when it comes to rainfall. Not seeing anything in the way of warnings at this time, but the National Weather Service in Little Rock has already issued a flash flood watch in effect for tonight, as we could see two to as much as four inches of rainfall in parts of this area. Now, that could be issued for the Mid-South later by the National Weather Service in Memphis. We'll see what they do, and if that happens, we'll let you know. A wind advisory will be going into effect today at 4 o'clock. Winds will be out of the east at about 20 miles per hour later on, and we'll also see again wind gusts higher than that 30, maybe 35 miles per hour plus, so some very windy conditions for the Mid-South area. So if you're traveling north or south, you're going to be seeing those easterly winds come on through there, and that could push against your vehicle pretty well, so please keep that in mind. All right, walking things through, again, the rest of the day is not going to be that warm. Temperatures will be below normal back into the mid-60s at best, and there will be chances of isolated thunderstorms here and there throughout the rest of the rainfall, but best potential of anything involving stronger weather will be coming up later on this afternoon and into this evening. West of the Mississippi River first, moving into and through the metro area as we go toward dinner time tonight, sunset and late evening. Not that we're going to see that much sun around here, but about that time frame is when a lot of this just starts to overspread all of the News Channel 3 viewing area. Continuing to see that over parts of the Mid-South through and after midnight as we go into early Sunday morning. Could be some thunderstorms left over by daybreak tomorrow morning as we see that threat again making its way out of the picture, but rain chances will be sticking around throughout the rest of Sunday as we see again the potential of the possibility of showers and thunderstorms uh, into and around the area for right now to where we get again that threat going on. Now this again, that forecast will be updated later on today, probably about 10, 11 o'clock is when we'll see the next update from the Storm Prediction Center. We don't issue these things. This comes directly from the National Weather Service at the Storm Prediction Center. If you'd like to know more about that, great opportunity to learn more. Go to weather.gov and click on severe weather for more information about that. And again, here in the Mid-South, this used to be a lot smaller for a slight risk category. It is now expanded, which means a greater chance over a wider area of severe weather as we go into later on this afternoon and into this evening. One of the systems that we use to take a look at what's going on with the weather is called the significant tornado parameter. This gives us a good idea as to when the best possibilities of tornadoes will be in a particular area. Now, it does not include triggers. It's not gonna say that a tornado will happen at a particular location at this time. It's just that this will be the greatest likelihood of anything involving tornadoes. Now, through lunchtime, we're just not seeing too much of anything for right now. But as we go into later on this afternoon, that's when we start to see that threat emerging in those areas that we saw the enhanced risk category from Helena, West Helena, Oxford, back over toward Tupelo, and really starts to increase as we go into this evening around News Channel 3 at 10, sticking around through midnight and into very early tomorrow morning. So again, even if you're in Memphis or Dyersburg or Ripley, Tennessee or Ripley, Mississippi, you need to watch out for this and be weather aware throughout the course of the rest of the day. Same forecast for hail. Again, the better possibility is this will start showing up later on this afternoon into early this evening, spreading north and eastward across much of Mississippi and eventually into western Tennessee and a small portion of eastern Arkansas. So we are talking about hail, maybe one inch in diameter and larger. And we're talking about winds of 60 miles per hour plus from some of these storms and also tornadoes too. So again, something to look out for there. Uh, again, for the rest of the day today, going to be seeing that potential for more chances of showers and thunderstorms throughout the rest of the day. High temperatures, not that high back in the mid 60s. 
mid to upper 50s for later on tomorrow with showers and thunderstorms coming to an end across much of the area. As we go into Sunday evening, most everything should be clearing out, and that's good news because on tax day, the last thing you need is any weather headaches. So getting the 1040s in the mailbox, if you still go by that route, temperatures will be mild, lots of sunshine, beautiful day for tax day coming up. And then throughout the rest of the week, no problems up until about Wednesday night. And then Thursday into Friday could be another possibility of some more severe weather. The Storm Prediction Center that issued that forecast we just showed you, that, again, the extended forecast is showing signs that there may be severe weather out there. No indication of severity with that just yet, but just the potential of severe weather is coming up later on this week. And then heading toward Easter, some very good news uh, for outdoor sunrise services out across the Mid-South, and I know there's plenty of them out there that wait to see what the weather's going to be like before announcing to the congregation that they're going to be doing anything. Looks pretty good. It will be chilly Easter morning. Temperatures back in the mid to upper 40s for lows, so a bit brisk at outdoor sunrise services. And then the rest of Easter Sunday looks glorious. Temperatures back in the mid-70s with plenty of sunshine. So if you're celebrating the holiday, looks pretty good all the way on through there. All right, for those of you who just came in late, I'm going to go back and wrap around a little bit to give you an idea as to what's going on and to give you an update on this. Mid-South area located right through here. This storm system coming in from off the Rockies is going to be responsible for this. Showers and thunderstorms across the South Central United States right now, and then more potential for that later on. But the thunderstorms for the time being, at least as of about 8 or 9.30 almost, that's again where we see the rainfall and a couple of thunderstorms down to around Clarksdale. But so far, that's about it. No indications from the, the Storm Prediction Center that they're planning on issuing a watch in the immediate future. So good news again on there. And again, throughout the rest of the day today, we'll be looking for more of these showers developing into thunderstorms. But right now, I-40 corridor is picking up mainly just rainfall and should stay with that throughout the rest of the day. Flash flood watch issued just west of us for heavy rainfall possible, and that could spread into our area. So expecting more possibilities of flash flood watches in our area, as well as wind advisories in effect for later on this afternoon with winds picking up over 30 miles per hour in some cases out of the east. So again, if you're driving around out there, it could be some choppy conditions across much of the Mid-South area. Main weather story for right now is, again, the potential for very severe weather coming up later on as we look down to our south for that moderate threat. That's something we don't usually see unless we've got a very powerful system coming through, and that's exactly what we're looking at for right now, but well to our south. Now, again, here in the Mid-South area, we are seeing that potential of severe weather. We still have a potential, even if you're in Dyersburg, Ripley, Tennessee, Blytheville, Arkansas, back toward Jonesboro, you have a slight risk category, but they also have that enhanced risk going on in parts of the area south of the metro into northern Mississippi and southeastern Arkansas. Now's the time to review your severe weather plan. Make certain you have multiple ways of getting warnings. Do not just rely on tornado sirens. That is not a good idea. Get a weather radio. Make certain you've got a way to get an app for your phone that will give you, again, more information and will send you push alerts so you can get more details as to what's going on out there. And again, keeping updated on the forecast just by being weather aware, staying tuned to the weather experts, and we'll keep you updated on social media as we go throughout the rest of the area for tonight. So any outdoor activities throughout the rest of the day, you're going to have rainfall to deal with. You're going to have gusty, possibly some damaging winds with those thunderstorms, and you're also going to have that potential for isolated tornadoes. It is prom season, as I see a few uh, requests for prom forecasts in the comment section scrolling on by. Be ready. If the schools are planning on going ahead with proms tonight, be ready to get everybody into shelter as soon as possible. Like baseball games or football games, it takes time to move thousands of people into a sheltered area to make certain that they're safe. And safety today should be the primary number one concern about this. We don't tell you about this to scare you or frighten you. We want to make certain you're prepared for what's going on out there. I've been accused of other TV stations in town uh, as hyping the weather forecast. I am a professional meteorologist. I do not hype anything, and I will take issue with anybody who says otherwise. So again, this is for your benefit. Being prepared is always better than being panicked. And again, this is not hyping the weather. This is making certain that you know more 
about what's going on out there. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 again for the latest. And again, we'll keep you updated on that. We're going to uh, sign off for right now and make sure that everything's ready to go for later on today. And of course, we'll be keeping an eye on the weather. We'll be breaking back in with mornings and or information about watches should they become necessary across much of the area. So stay tuned for more on that. Also, again, keep it tuned to WREG.com slash weather. And follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and other social media, and we'll keep you updated there. Live and direct Saturday morning from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick weather forecast update for you for Saturday. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest, and we'll keep you advised throughout the rest of Saturday.